Got my peaches out in Georgia, yeah, I get my weed from California, that's that shit. I took my chick up to the north, yeah, badass bitch. I get my life right from the source, yeah, yeah, that's it. And I see you, the way I breathe you in, it's the texture of your skin. Wanna wrap my arms around you, baby, never let you go. Oh, and I see you, it's nothing like your touch. I got my peaches out in Georgia, yeah, that shit I get my weed from California, that's that shit I took my trick up to the north, yeah, yeah, that bitch I get my life right from the source, yeah, yeah, that's it You enjoy it, but I'm for ya All I could want, all I could wish for Nights alone that we miss more The days we save the souvenirs There's no time, I wanna make more time Give you my whole life. Left my girl, I'm in my vodka. Hate to leave the college torture. Remember when I couldn't hold her? Left the bedroom I got my peaches out in Georgia. I get my. You are not going to bully a black woman, a black tourist, a black solo traveler. You're not going to discriminate. You're not going to do that. Pull me closer. It's the freak in me. I want to show you. Hey, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new vlog. Okay? If this is your first time here, Hi! Welcome to the gang! Welcome to the family! Your girl is in Zanzibar, okay? In Hotel Rio Jambo, it's a resort. You guys, <laughs> this resort is fine. Um, one thing I really like about this resort is the fact that you can pay when you get here. So if you actually book this hotel, this resort will, <laughs> if you actually book this resort on bookings.com you do not have to pay they will tell you pay at the property so i paid when i got here okay so yeah um first off first let me tell you guys a little story sorry 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 <laughs> um they gave me a free upgrade they upgraded my room for free so this is the bathroom this is always like my most favorite place of a, like if i'm getting a place just now the bathroom is going the bathroom will be given period anyways this is a oh my cute this is the shower and yeah i told you guys yeah yeah okay i mean i have and i be dryer i have a dryer which is a good thing. A good thing. Okay, let me show you guys the room. They gave me drinks, water, see, Coke, Fanta, Sprites, water. <laughs> there is a great couch here. Really cute. Nice. Now, maybe this. Let me show you guys outside. This would actually be nicer if. It was during the days like past six at the moment your girl is tired her tired is tired okay buzzing right even right so this is part of the resorts it's part of the resorts guys can you see this resorts is buzzing 
can you see guys this is the beach i think this is Nungui beach but it's on their own property it's actually a private beach if you guys can see this is there's a pool here there's also another pool there again then this is the their beach fronts you guys can see actually their beach fronts i'm gonna be here tomorrow this is where i'm going to spend my day okay that's it for the tour see you guys when i take this camera again okay hi guys good afternoon it's afternoon yes i'm looking at this pen do you guys know that i did not use foundation for this makeup it was the clean girl makeup look for someone who has acne but girl anyways i'm going to the beach yes let's go to the beach beach i'm going to the beach and i'm wearing this cute 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 bikini of course then i'm gonna go take bombast content at the beach um yeah then afterwards i'm gonna go have lunch because i didn't eat this morning i had a lot yesterday night i had the lot yesterday night so this hotel eh, if you want to get fat bro they are gonna help you because i after eating the normal main meal there were lots of desserts guys lots of desserts then drinks they can also still go to the bar again to take cocktail mocktail if you want to get drunk you can get drunk here like bro and everything is free of charge like it's part of your accommodation fee so girl this is a it was one of the is is actually one of the best deals i'm just still stuck between should i just use all my stay here or should i just go somewhere else i really do not know but girl anyways um <laughs> i'm looking fine like how many people So, Jambo means welcome. Uh, Abby? Ah, I, know, I think Jambo means hello because they keep saying Jambo, Jambo. So, maybe that's what it means. Another banga. Baby, calm down, calm down. Tell this somebody he put him out for lockdown, for lockdown, for lockdown. Tell you sweet life, calm down, calm down. If I tell you, say I love you.
lunch She gonna eat it, he ate it for lunch She told my baddie I get what I want like You thought I was feeling you? Yeah, nigga, I'm lunch She gonna eat it, he ate it for lunch She told my baddie I get what I want like Now nah, let's keep it a beat What do you mean that I'll be on the Hi, good morning, guys <laughs> Good morning, good morning <laughs> How you guys doing um so yes i'm going to be i'll be going to stone town and prison island this morning i want to go take pictures downstairs then go have breakfast so yes um this the prison island and stone town is supposed to be like the last place i was supposed to like visit um like when i already had because i already i already have like my plan for like zanzibar and stuff like that but the people I met yesterday, they are going to Stone Town and Prison Island today. So, and they were like, oh, do I want to come with them? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. So, and the reason is because I was even like, um, I don't know, like when I, when I was like checking vlogs on like Stone Town and Prison Island, yeah, I just, I was just like, okay, well, I'm going to go with a tour guide anyways. But the fact that like, I actually have like, you know, girls going I don't know I'm just gonna feel safer and you know it's just so yeah I'm gonna feel very safe and all that so yeah it's just me all this hair is not like flat on flat okay it's good actually so yeah um yes yeah, so ex I'm so excited actually even though like this place anyway is gonna be like more of the intro like more of the the history, yes, the history of um, Zanzibar, I think the history of Stone Town and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's not really my thing because I don't really care for history as much. But, I mean, I think I would just still love to. Yes, I'm really excited for the spice store. I think I'm going to buy some spices because, girl yes i'm gonna buy some spices the driver was telling me that um they have white pepper they have black pepper girl if they have black pepper i am i am so buying it so yeah um yeah i'm excited i'm actually really excited because i'm also like going with um you know girls so i know that's gonna be fun on like just me and a tour guide and also yes the hotel actually helps to plan all these excursions and stuff like that so i already met them about like you know my activities and they were like if i'll be going to prison town and stone town i'll be paying a hundred and seventy dollars yes yes because um they said because they don't have like people who are going there at the moment so it be kind of like split the cost something like that so when these girls were like oh they are going i was like oh good idea and they're like i should not pay anything because they already paid the driver already i'm only going to be paying the entrance fee can you see how cool is that ah uh, so yeah i mean that is how i do not have to pay a hundred and seventy dollars i'll tell you how much the entrance fee is guys so you guys would know that i am going to take pictures like i already said and i look super cute this morning i'm wearing this dress this is a dress from my one of my shin holes i which i'm sure like i already showed you guys already or like before let me just yeah it's just a very cute dress exactly. so yeah that's that's literally it guys i'm running late because i need to eat this morning where we are going to here almost is far i already know that it's far so i just want to <laughs> make sure the belly is fed before we go <laughs> So we'll be taking a boat to the island. Now Island or 
ready, so it's time to talk. Vanessa, do you know what you call this place again? Yeah. The memoir. What do you call this place again? Memorial Zanzibar. This is Memorial Zanzibar. <laughs> they have so many things here for sale. So basically, if you want to buy clothes, Hey my love, so I had to do a little voiceover for the remaining um, few clips you're going to be watching. Um, the tour guide talked about the, um, the colonization uh, and the slave trade and everything the people of Tanzania had to face. Um, they were colonized by the Arabs. It showed us, um, you know, the amphitheater where they were asked to perform. It showed us the place where they were made to sleep. Former that slave chambers. These yeah, the places have no windows. Like, I was wow. This is where they keep them. And yeah. he, this here went, he also went to the chapel. Too. That's the only, um, the first Anglican church um, in Zanzibar. He showed us the way they were changed and everything like that and from there we also went to the market I bought some spices and basically that was the end of Stone Town like we trekked a lot and it was just history 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 anyways so yeah Hi, good morning guys good morning yes, today I'm going to I'll be going to the aquarium the turtle aquarium where I'm going to be swimming with the turtles today then I'm also going for this horse riding thingy but before I head out guys I want to show you I want to tell you guys something that happened to me this morning <laughs> and I'm so happy that I complained because you are not going to bully a black woman, a black tourist, a black solo traveler. You're not going to discriminate. You're not going to do that. So yeah, something actually happened this morning, guys. Let me see if I can actually, let me sit to this camera or stand it somewhere. So this morning, I was going to have breakfast. And because of like yesterday's store, I went to Stone Town, I went to Prison Island, I was really, really tired. So I decided that when I, I got back like around past eight, so I just had dinner and I went to sleep because girl, I was really, really tired. So when I got to the, I, I mean, I went to have breakfast this morning, I woke up really tired this morning. I, just, I, I didn't even go, I didn't even have my bath. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth and I just put on the easiest clothes I could find, which was the joggers I traveled with, the joggers and the crop top, the same brown crop top I traveled with. I just went to the, um, cause I washed it. So I just went to the, um, to the, I just went for breakfast with the same outfit. And getting to <laughs> getting to the breakfast place, they were telling me, um, um, I can't, I can't, I can't go in, I can't go, I can't go in to have breakfast in a hotel. I can't go in to have breakfast because I am not properly dressed. And I'm like, oh, 
what do you mean by that because like trust me i am somebody to always follow rules if there is a particular rule or regulation i'm gonna follow it if it is not stated then there is a problem now when she was saying that i looked i looked into the restaurant and i'm seeing the first thing that caught my attention guys was this white woman who was wearing a bikini and a transparent beach cover you can see the bikini pants she's wearing like you can see why didn't she stop her how is she properly dressed and hi who is wearing a crop top and a joggers i am not properly dressed because i already knew that hmm, when i was going because i went with cornrows also like i was looking very very basic this morning because girl i was tired girl and then someone a white lady walked past me again wearing a bomb shot you can legit see her butt cheeks from this bomb shot so how is she properly dressed and i am not properly dressed like be for real now make it make sense because it was and so i told her straight up and i'm like girl be for real look at white people right there wearing whatever and me because i am a black woman you're telling me i i can't i can't go into the restaurant this week what does that even mean like that's the thing about me like i knew that zanzibar is actually a muslim country so that was in my head and when i was checking vlogs and stuff that was actually why i decided to book a resort because i know if it's a resort guy you have like you're free to do whatever you are not relating with like you know the the locals the locals means the people the the people of zanzibar like you know like in their midst so nobody can tell you nothing you understand what i'm trying to say so that was why i got a resort and I know how much I paid to get this resort. And if you are actually going to give a review, you are going to make sure it's applicable to everybody. And you know the funny thing, guys, there is no rule like that in this resort. No rule like that. Which was because if you <laughs> you you have no idea as to the amount of research I used to put into anywhere I'm going to. Like I'm gonna check reviews on booking.com, I'm gonna check YouTube, I'm gonna check Google because I want to know is it tourist friendly? let me know that is it tourist friendly so there was nothing like that in my research on the website nothing like that and i'm like girl because it was a lady it, it was a lady and i'm like girl why are you telling me that i am not dressed in a particular manner and i'm to go back to my hotel room to change when there are white people who are even worse are dressed in a like i mean in the same in that context yeah <laughs> what you're wearing is like worse and you are not telling them these are people carrying food why are you not telling them to leave or to go change why because what because now that i'm actually thinking about it the way i was i was in cornrows i was not even wearing a wig i was not makeup i was looking very very basic so probably you use that one to look down on me or something like that and i'm like sh i was telling her no she was like that no that's the that's the policy that no i have then another staff a guy this time around came to like talk and then i was telling the same thing it was like where is the white woman where is she where is she and i'm like this lady who just walked past us right now and this guy was acting like he didn't see nothing he was like where is she where is she bro this lady just walked past you right now in bomb shorts you can see her butt cheeks but she's properly dressed and i am not and i have to leave are you joking and i'm like you know what no problem then i went to the reception and i got it first i asked them where is your manager like i'm like where's your manager and then you're like ma what's wrong what's i said where is your manager that's the only person i want to see and they're like, oh, Ma, please, okay, we're gonna... There's so... A lady came to meet me. She's like, oh, that she's actually the... I think she's the assistant manager or something like that. That was going on. And I'm like, Ma, please give me a refund for the rest of the days I have to stay here and let me leave your hotel. Because I am not pleased with your services and I cannot stay here any longer. And then she's like, oh, what happened? What happened? I did that what happened. And she's like, that what? That what? That nothing is wrong. You're wearing a crop top and, and a jog and joggers. Nothing is wrong with that. Who said that? And I'm like, your people at the restaurant. 
and then she's like ah that she's very very sorry that do i know can i describe them because she knows everybody and i'm like i can't describe them only if you come with me and she's like okay okay that she's coming that do i want to eat anything so i'm like no i only want to go have breakfast because i know that once they solve this particular thing i want to go back and look them in the face that you no follow me try that kind of nonsense again so then she went to bring the general manager general manager was like ah that is very very sorry for that that they've actually talked about this particular thing with the staff before they should never do this that's but you cannot change the mindset like it's actually kind of like so, so like it was like some people just have this type of mindset and i mean they can't be everywhere every time which i guess because i also run a business so you can't you can't be everywhere every time you can't you can't know if someone is actually like following a particular principle or not so i mean i get and it was like he's very, very sorry he's gonna call them to attention he's gonna talk to them and they would never try that again blah 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 and that if i actually want a refund he's gonna give me a refund uh or if but if i want to stay that he's, he, he would not want me to leave something like that and i'm like cool that i'm not gonna leave and the reason i'm not gonna leave is because i'm gonna leave today's wednesday i paid for i paid till friday so i'm gonna leave this particular hotel on friday i was even thinking maybe i'm gonna stay here for like the rest of my stay in zanzibar but i'm gonna leave on friday anyway i'm gonna go somewhere else but she, she it was like i'm like don't worry i'm gonna stay because i already plan to stay and i have like things i'm going to be outside today then probably like tomorrow i might be inside so don't worry i'm going to stay so it was like oh i can actually go have breakfast now and it's gonna it has already called the person handling the restaurant and stuff like that and i'm like okay and i walked back to the restaurant when i went to the restaurant the the person handling the restaurant was already outside with the staff and they were trying to point him that ah, this is this is the lady i think they're trying to report me to the person handling the restaurant and the man was like ah oh, madam what happened and i'm like i told him and i'm like I'm like, what's wrong with what I'm wearing? And it's like, nothing's wrong with what you're wearing. Like, you, nothing's wrong with that. And I'm like, look how white people who are actually even dressed, wearing bomb shorts here, and no one is talking to them. And it's like, not uh, that. I'm, I'm like, is it because I am black? Because I, I'm, I, I kept on saying that. Is it because I am black, girl? Because be for real, it's actually because I am black. And then you're like, oh, uh, he was like, no, 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 don't go there, don't say that. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That even if it is, that it is very, very wrong. It is very, very wrong that they apologize. It will never happen again. And I'm like, talk to them. They should never try kind of nonsense again. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sharing this story here yeah, because first of all, I like this hotel. I'm not even gonna lie. They have girl if you don't even want to go anywhere just want to you they have so many activities in this hotel and i just really love this place and to be very very honest the problem is not with the management the problem is with some of the staff who decide to come and doing their own that's the problem so please i'm not saying you should not come to this hotel no please come to this hotel this is a very very nice resort but just in case you face this kind of problem, just report the management immediately. Which I know they will not even try again because they were like, they're going to cut. The man, the man told them to shut up right in front of me because he was mad. And that's the thing, yeah. You, if you leave a bad review, if I leave this hotel now and I leave a bad review on bookings.com, people would not want to come to this place. And that's the honest truth. Because if I had seen this kind of review, I would not have come here at all. Seriously, if it is not tourist friendly, let me know. But it is. But your staffs are the ones that are trying to ruin your freaking business. Like, call them to order. It was irritating. I did not like it. I know I just talked for seven minutes. I'm sorry about it, but girl. Uh, um, for people who do not really understand, Zanzibar is a, I think most of the people in Zanzibar are Muslims. Um, it's an Islamic country or something like that. But there are so many tourist friendly resorts. So you probably do not have a problem. It's just some of the staffs and things, some of the staffs are like, they live in Zanzibar. So they want to like enforce their own rules or something, which nobody asks them to. So caution them. And they do that to black people, black people. But they won't try it with me because <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> okay, see you guys there.
yeah i'll be ready to be embarrassed on my behalf for what you're about to see i was super scared because the turtles actually Jumbo. bite they do bite and it, it, it was very very scary like just <laughs> just watch <laughs> Jesus, 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 I I think what was more scary for me was the fact that you would just be standing on your own and then the next thing you're just feeling something falling around your legs or pouring around you or just you know the turtle touching your legs or something like it was so scary i had to stay on this what i call it pavement because girl I, it was scary and i i was finally able to take like you know proper proper videos later on by just kneeling on the pavement here but yes that was it uh yes i'm a scary pants period <laughs>
Now we carry a tote bag that will have like all the things I need. Girl, today's pictures are gonna be lit. Lit. I pray this hair doesn't mess me up. Because the way it gets food when it's dry, it's scary. Anyways. Guys, I'm, we're about to take a boat to the Nakupenda. So. I made it. <laughs> so they want to um, build a tent for where I'm going to be staying and having lunch. So okay, yes, it's fine. <laughs> I'm stuck between staying in another hotel in Nungui because I want a place that will provide for my breakfast and my dinner as part of the fee because like the hotels, <laughs> the resorts that I want be so pricey. I mean, like cheaper option. Don't get me wrong, but the the place is not really given. So. That's it. So I'm just like, okay, should I still stay in Nungui? Because there is one hotel, uh, sorry, there's one resort in Nungui here also that is, I think it's full board and the place looks really nice. Then I'm actually thinking of going to another place, like another, will I call it town or city or whatever, but the place I'm seeing... <laughs> It is only breakfast I will be getting with my 
fee and that will be like I think over four hundred dollars <laughs> exactly and over four hundred dollars and it's only breakfast and here in Nungui a very fine place also it is I think three hundred and thirty something dollars or three fifty something one of the two and it has my breakfast lunch dinner together so you see what I'm saying I'm just thinking of doing like the one that's best <laughs> For me though the place that is over 400 dollars like the place is really giving um really nice place and it's kind of like i think it's close to the the rock restaurant so which is very possible that i would not be going there again like i won't be going to the rock if i don't go to that place so girl i'm just a little bit stuck like i'm stuck i don't know what to do but i don't know now that i'm talking with you guys i'm just like maybe i should just go there because i would love to i don't want to stay in nungui all true you get me and also like if i'm staying in nungui i can go for my horse riding maybe today so girl i don't know <laughs> i don't be knowing these things i don't know i don't know but see it's cool it's cool jerry i would figure it out yeah i'll figure it out anyways um ciao it's almost 12 o'clock so i have to check out because i'm not paying any extra money yet <laughs> channel please like comment and subscribe to my channel because i don't know if i've been saying that please do that for me sorry i look a mess i am so tired and stressed and yes y'all i am in royal beach resorts in nungui also i finally decided to go to the one in nungui and it was just like i think two three minutes drive from like the last hotel yes the hotel i am in is also all inclusive they've given me this their band yes it's the royal zanzibar beach is it hotel uh, sorry resorts resorts yes they gave me um, a band so when i was actually at rio jambo also so it's an all-inclusive um wherever i get free drinks breakfast lunch dinner free snacks free 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 girl anyways i'm so excited i'm not even gonna lie i just want to have a good time and i want to sleep like i was thinking i'm going to go to the us club thingy today but girl i am tired like i'm so tired and i feel like i have not been resting like i've just been like out 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 like i want to sit down reset recharge yeah first of all i got a free upgrade yeah i got a free upgrade so this is the superior deluxe room exactly what i paid for was the superior room and the superior room there was actually a deal again on bookings.com for the superior room so instead of me paying over two thousand and something tanzanian currency money i don't know their money yes i paid 
826 that's basically i paid 368 dollars instead of paying like i think over 800 dollars exactly so the room i was upgraded upgraded to is the superior deluxe which is i think over a thousand dollars so girl girl grace is following me up at the anyways i'm super excited this is actually what i want like i want like this raffia traditional vibe but in a very very nice way this hotel is giving it to me like girl i love it love the spots i'm not even gonna lie i love it let me show you guys what the room is like should we start from the bathroom because girl i'm in the bathroom yeah as you can see two mirrors okay pretty cute this is what i love attention to details like cute now give me uh there is body lotion i'm going to be taking every single thing home body lotion shampoo shower gel conditioner yes and this is the good thing about the superior deluxe room because she was telling me this when she was showing me all the rooms is the fact that there is a glass door which you can just open and voila yo yeah <laughs> like girl super super excited then we have another rack here for the towels love it like aesthetically pleasing girl yeah so here is where this is <laughs> and um we have the shower we have the shower here they have the same everything that's in the is it back or jack i don't know the difference like this well let's go to the room okay this is the wardrobe here and there is there are two bathrooms here and I think sleep has to, yeah, girl, 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 <laughs> nice, there is a safe here, see, accessories, and the fridge, there is this place where, I mean, you can put your box, I can make my box, my box is a yeah, as you can see, a tall ass mirror okay yeah i think this is the dressing table it has its own stool here again hi this is the bedroom this is the bedroom it has the mosquito net vibe whatever i was the one who even dragged because they didn't do that so let me do the other side yeah good love it like this so yeah this is what the this is the badge exactly like girl love it love it you see do you see the view from the room love it <laughs> okay then we have the balcony girl oops so we have the lounge chairs yeah and girl the view this other um this is the restaurant i guess and the lounge is here or something like that and girl let me zoom in the view can you see the ocean exactly and then we have pools girl i am super super pumped yeah love this place i'm not even gonna lie and yeah that's it
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna spend the rest of my day in this hotel room and probably tomorrow. I just wanna reset, recharge, you know, all of those things, girl. I've been out, out, out. I wanna rest because next week this girl is back to work again. Anyways. Bye till you see me again. <laughs> afternoon guys so i am leaving zanzibar today my flight is for 4 15 and this is almost one o'clock so the cab guy is almost here to pick me up so i just want to go check out and leave this fine ass place i spent the last two three days is it two days yeah i spent that like reflecting eating and watching movies like i really had a great time i really enjoyed my vacation i'm not even gonna lie and this particular hotel is just really really nice for recharging it's, it gives me this village kind of vibe you know it was really nice and i really enjoyed myself and i didn't vlog any of those things because i don't know they probably might be boring to you guys so anyways thank you so much for watching this vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much and i love you guys